Today's video is going to be the first in a series of four for a sew along that I'm doing over in Jen's fabric. Sew alongs used to be all the rage back in 2020. Whenever the pandemic started, a lot of us were feeling a little lonely and wanted a way to connect and to have fun sewing. We, some people were exploring a new craft of sewing. And so we used to do sew alongs at least once a month. I have hosted several sew alongs and I'm really excited to be doing another one. This is the first one I've done in Jen's fabric group. And if this one goes well and people enjoy it, we do plan on continuing them. This video is for week one. For week one, we are just cutting and prepping. That's all we're doing. So you have a week to cut and prep your pieces. I'm going to be sewing three versions of this pattern. The pattern is from Stitches by Christy, and I'm doing both the Diana and the Elizabeth. The reason why I wanted to showcase all three versions is because Jen's Fabrics sells clear vinyl jelly, she sells panels, and she sells coordinating prints. So I felt like this pattern could be a pattern that you could use in the sew along no matter what materials you have from Jim Fab Jen's Fabrics. You could sew up one of these bags with whatever materials you have on hand. In order to be eligible for the prize, you have to include some of Jen's Fabrics in the bag. It doesn't have to be only Jen's Fabrics, but it does have to feature a Jen's Fabric material. This pattern can be adapted to be used as a crossbody or a pouch. I'm making these up for craft shows that I'm having during the holiday months and all of mine will be sewn as pouches. The pattern does have the instructions to make this a crossbody. I just won't be showing those steps. If you want to sew along with us, there will be prizes at the end and there is a discount code for this pattern itself over in the Jen's Fabric group. The way this works is on the first day, which will be a Tuesday every week, I will post a link for this video in that event group underneath that link. If you want to participate in order to win a prize, you have to post your progress picture under that post. For this first week, all you have to do is post a picture of your pieces cut out. So let's go ahead and go over the pieces and the prep work you need to do for week one. Let's start with the Elizabeth. It is the easier of the two because you have less pieces to cut and less things to prep. For all of the patterns, you will have four of these accent pieces. For mine on the Elizabeth, I'm choosing to use a jelly vinyl. Just as a note, for me on this jelly vinyl, I will have to use a rivet snap of some sort either a cam or a magnetic one. I'm choosing to use a magnetic one. If you used a prong snap, you would be able to see clearly the prongs. It would show through on the other side. So you wouldn't want to do the jelly version if you don't have a rivet snap. You could still do the clear version. You just wouldn't want to use jelly. If you did the clear version and use just a regular vinyl, that would be fine to, to use the prong magnets. So you will cut four of these out. The pattern does give you a pattern piece for this shape or she also gives you the measurements and a circle you can print out as a curving template or you could just curve with whatever you have in the house. Several options for that if you don't like to print things out. So four of these, one base piece, this is your bottom, and then two of your main panel pieces out of the clear vinyl. That is all the pieces you need to cut out for the Elizabeth. This one is the much easier version if you're new to bag making and want to try out clear vinyl. This is a very beginner friendly way to do it. For the Diana, I'm choosing to sew two different options. One using a panel as the front main piece and then one just using a coordinating print. So on both of these, like I said, the four accent pieces for the top are the same. You will have four of these cut out just like you do for the Elizabeth. If you're using vinyl, if how you interface these, stabilize these, really depends on the kind of vinyl you have. This vinyl was a very soft thin vinyl, so I chose to use two layers of an SF-101. 
this vinyl was pretty stable already and a little bit thicker so the only thing I did was one layer of so fuse and that has both of these still flexible but gives them enough support also if you wanted to before you add your snaps you can add extra interfacing just in that area on these pieces I can use any snap I want the prong or a riveted snap so I'm definitely going to be using prongs on these because they are cheaper and I do have more of them so this is the prong magnets will be what I'm using on these pieces you will have one bottom accent piece I did interface both of these with a layer of so fuse plus just for a little bit extra support and stability I probably could add another layer onto this one because it's still a very soft flexible vinyl but I'm just going to leave it like this for right now for the main panel pieces this is the exterior what you will see on the outside I have two for this for the first Diane I'll make and I have one panel and then one coordinating print on all of these exterior pieces I'm going to have a layer of SF 101 or equivalent and a layer of thermaland I did choose to keep that thermaline in my seam allowance, but you could keep it out if you're concerned at all. Here is the two main panel pieces, front and back, for the version that is just a coordinating print. Again, the same interfacing on those. If you are making these as a pouch and just want a simple version, you can just cut four of the main panel pieces, the front and the back, and have that be your interior as well. That would be a very simple way to do it. I'm going to show the instructions for the interior pieces on these. So I'm sewing up the full version of the Diana on mine. The inside of Diana is broken down by these separate sides. So you have a side one and a side two. Of course, you could sew them both the same or like I said, leave them both plain and just use a single pattern piece. For interior side one, you're going to have one main panel pocket. This is the same size as your exterior piece. And then you're going to have two zipper pocket lining pieces. You will also need to cut out a zipper overlay and this would have to be a raw edge material. If you do not have any vinyl in your home, there is a way to, of course, sew a zipper pocket without an overlay. If you have any questions on that or want me to show that, please let me know in the comments. And then I could definitely do that. But for right now, I'm planning on having the zipper overlay in both of the versions I make in the Diana. For the second side, the way you're going to have it is you are going to have two side pieces one center piece and one pocket piece the measurements are given for all of these but like I said she does have pattern pieces for everything as well for my interior pieces I have not interfaced any of this yet my fabric is a cotton canvas so I am back and forth as to if I'm going to interface everything I definitely won't interface things like this zipper interior pocket, but I may interface some of the other pieces. I'm probably going to decide that a little bit later because I might even interface them separately. I might even interface this main piece for the zipper pocket, but then wait to interface this side until after I get it all completed. The interior pieces we will not be sewing until week three, so I have a little bit of time to decide on that. Here is all the materials I'm going to be using to sew up my Elizabeth and Diana. I would love it if you would join me in the Jen's Fabric group to sew along and to do this together. Sew alongs for me are just a way for us to connect and sew together. We can talk about the best ways to sew things and kind of go through the pattern step by step. So week one is just cutting and prepping, nothing else but this. Week two, we will be working on the exterior of the bag. Week three will be the interior. If you are doing the Elizabeth for week three, you really won't have anything to do. For week four, it will be putting everything together and finishing our bag. Week two will be out next Tuesday. If you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments or in the Jen's Fabric Facebook group. And I hope everyone joins us for just a fun time sewing together and connecting while sewing. And I also hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching.